Sarah joined the business about 20 years ago, and she's been a tower of strength, uh, been very enthusiastic, and uh, she introduced a totally new line, Cornish Tin and Gold, which is an amalgam of Cornish Tin, genuine Cornish Tin, and gold uh, as a mix, and she's doing very well with that in jewellery and so on. Um, I should say, I forgot to mention early on, one of our big lines before the war was um, Cornish tin. We had Cornish tin, all, all sorts of things, tankards and um, uh, tea sets and all sorts of things made of Cornish tin. And it, that was very well received. And of course we supplied lots of tankards to Camel School of Mines in those days and they ended up all over the world, these things. But uh, I think the future lies in this Cornish Tin and Gold, which is a totally different line and exclusive to us. And also, um, I think what's kept the firm going so well is very, very good staff we've had over the years, extremely helpful people, and they've been very loyal and faithful, and we've been very fortunate. Uh, so there we go. I haven't got much longer to go, obviously, but uh, so I'm not in the business now, although I have an interest in it, but I don't have any um, practical interest in it. That's left to Sarah and her husband, Adam, who are doing a very good job between them.